Hi, this is Keiko. I was going to make a natto using natto sara spores purchased from Amazon, but I changed my mind. This natto sara did not come with English instructions. So, I decided to translate their Japanese instruction to English. I'm not professional, so my translation is not perfect, but at least I'll try my best. Let me show you what is in Natto Starter box. This is a Natto Starter Spose uh, box. Natto Moto, that means in Japanese, Natto Base. This is a Natto Spores. You see the white powders? And you use very little of this. And according to instruction, you use one spoonful of natto spores for 500 grams of soybeans. Look at so small spoon. I was going to make natto today, so I have 500 grams of soybeans in this bowl. After I opened this box, I realized that uh, there is no instructions in English. They are all in Japanese. I realized that it takes time to translate and follow their direction and then make a natto takes so long. So I will just translate their instruction today. And uh, I will make another video on how to make natto using natto starter spores. In my next video, I will try to let natto fermented outside in backyard during the day and use dehydrator in the night to finish up. I believe I can make natto using a dehydrator with fruits drying settings. I'm living in San Antonio, Texas, and during the day, uh, the temperature will climb up to 100, 101 degree Fahrenheit. How to make a natto? You will need soybeans, which is 500 grams, one bowl to soak beans, and one large strainer, one large pot of pressure cooker. All utensil, bowls and containers, and the cloths listed here must be sterilized or sanitized before use. You will need 10 cc of sterilized water, which is you can make after boil 5 minutes to kill germ, and one spoon one small bowl to mix sterilized water and natto spores. This mixture is called natto starter. One large bowl to mix steamed soybeans and natto starter. One shallow container to place steamed soybeans and let it ferment it. One piece of cloth, such as dish cloth, cheese cloth, which is larger than the container. You don't have to use plastic container. And one thermometer. And next, they're calling for some type of heating unit, such as a foot warmer or hand warmers, largely used in Japan. But if you don't have it, you can use uh, really anything. Anything to maintain the temperature around the 40 Celsius or 102 to 104 Fahrenheit. I make natto using my oven and I made a video on how to make it and post it on YouTube. You can see the link here but I'll paste the clickable link at the end of the video. And the last item, you need a refrigerator. Next, 
Instructions How to Make Natto Wash soybeans, discard damaged beans, or the rocks, or the disfigured beans. And it really has to be washed two, three times because soybeans can be dirty. Next, soak soybeans. Use large bowl and add 1500 cc, which is six cup of water, and 500 gram of soybeans. I bought the medium sized soybeans and I measured it. It came up with like a two cups in between the half and three fourths of a cup, which is come up with 650 cc total. And all soybeans are different, but it should be around that figure. Soak the beans for 18 to 20 hours. Avoid the direct sun and hot and humid area. Next is how to cook soybeans. Discard water using a strainer. If you boil them, it may take about 9 hours. But if you steam it using the pressure cooker, it takes very short times. If you are going to boil them, please add fresh water to the beans. You must cook beans until you can smash. Cooked beans placed between your thumb and pinky without pressing hard. This instruction is missing the information how long will it take if you use a pressure cooker. But you can find out exactly how long if you watched my video. I believe it was like a 40 minutes, but I'm not 100% sure. Next, make natto starter. Have a small bowl ready. Measure one round spoonful of natto starter spores and put it in a bowl. Add 10 cc of sterilized water and mix well. Next is how to add natto starter. All water must be discarded and then move cooked soybeans to a large bowl and mix in natto starter. Ratio is 100 gram of cooked soybeans. Use 1 cc of natto starter. My note, 100 gram of dry soybeans will become 200%, 200 gram of cooked soybeans after the beans soaked up all water. Therefore, you can use all 10 milliliters of natto starters. Next is how to prepare soybeans for fermentation. Use a shallow container with a lid. Spread the beans, and the beans should be no more than three layers. If you place the beans in many more layers, the natto will become sticky on the surface, but inside will lose oxygen and will become like cooked beans. If you drop the beans, you should not return them to the container. After the beans are ready, place wet cloth over the container and then close the lid tightly. Prevent from water drops will hit the natto beans and also prevent drying up the beans. Now we are on the last section of the instruction. Now they talk about the fermentation. If possible, warm up the room to 38 degrees Celsius, which is around 100 degrees Fahrenheit, and maintain temperature of natto around 40 degrees Celsius, which is around 102 to 104 uh, degrees Fahrenheit for 18 to 24 hours. For summertime, 
18 to 20 hours and the winter time 20 to 24 hours. If temperature is too high or too low, it will lose humidity and the natto spores will not grow well and takes significantly longer time to ferment it. The last natto resting period. Bring out the umami, good flavor from natto. You must keep the container in the refrigerator for overnight. This is to stop natto spores from growing and suppress the ammonia smell. This is not in the instruction, but you should keep natto in the cold area, like a refrigerator, and pull out the before, right before you start eating. Because natto start the re-fermenting after 10 degrees Celsius, which is 50 degree Fahrenheit, and start producing ammonia smell. Some people believe bad germ causes natto's ammonia smell, but it's not always true. Natto with ammonia smell is natural. You just have to learn how to control it. This concluded my video today. How was my video? If you liked it, please press the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.